if you have one of these, the Sima X5 Seed Quadcopter, you're already realizing it doesn't have quite the range as you wished it would. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to modify the transmitter without soldering. So to start off, we need to open up the transmitter. So first, let's take out the batteries. Now with all the screws removed, carefully open up the transmitter. Now carefully lift the back off of the transmitter. There's going to be some wires connected, so be careful. Set the cover to the side. So let's go ahead and take out these four screws. After those four screws are out, gently move the cover to the other side. Now let's take these four screws out. So after all the screws are out, gently pull everything back. And this is what we got. This is the antenna. So we're just going to add to this. So first, we're gonna pull off this piece of insulation right here. So I'm just going to gently pull on the insulation. Be careful, being careful not to break the circuit board. I can get my finger now behind that. Now I've got the insulation pulled right off. So here's the piece of wire we're gonna add on to here. This wire is about the same gauge and the insulation is about the same thickness as what's on here right now. So I'm gonna strip off about the same amount of insulation as I did on here. So now let's just twist these two together, just like this. And secure it nice and tight. You can see here how I have the wire twisted. Now let's add a piece of electrical tape. I'm not worried about wrapping it. I just want to fold the tape over it. Here we got the tape just folded over the wire. And it's completely insulated. This next step is very crucial. We have to measure this wire and cut it off exactly 12 and a half centimeters. So we measure from where the wire solders onto the circuit board. We measure from that point and we cut exactly 12 and a half centimeters. I'm gonna drill a hole in the end of this fake antenna and I'm just gonna cut it with an X-Acto knife. It's not pushing very hard. Once you get it started, it goes pretty quick. Now you can see the hole in the end of the fake antenna. Big enough to feed the wire through. Now that we have that, we can put this whole thing back together. So the first thing we need to do when we start putting this back together, we need to make sure all of these trim switches, these trim buttons are in the right place. So now that our trim buttons are all in place, let's gently put the circuit board back in place. put this fake antenna in where it belongs. I will just slide the wire through the fake antenna and put the fake antenna where it belongs. Now that we have the fake antenna in place and the wire poked through, let's finish putting the screws on the circuit board. Now we need to put these buttons in place. Let's 
snap the back back on. Before I put the screws in, let's turn it around, make sure everything is there and in place. The trim buttons are in place. These function buttons are in place. Now let's finish this up. power switch. It just presses right on there. So there we are. We got the modified antenna on our transmitter and we're good to go. Thanks for watching.